In this lesson, we will examine three different ways to describe or measure sets of numbers. We will begin with one of the most common measurements, average. Now the average is also referred to as the arithmetic mean or simply the mean. So in this module, we will use these three terms interchangeably. To find the average of n numbers, we calculate the sum of the n numbers and then divide this by n. So, for example, to calculate the average of these five numbers, we will find their sum and then divide this by 5. When we simplify this, we see that the average, or mean, is 4.6. Another way to describe a set of numbers is to use the median. The median is defined as the middlemost value of a set when the numbers in that set are arranged in ascending order. Now, when determining the median, we need to consider two cases. When n, the number of values, is odd, then the median is the middle value once the numbers are arranged in ascending order. When there is an even number of values, the median is the average of the two middle values. Let's look at some examples. To find the median of this set, we will first rearrange the terms in ascending order. Now this set has an odd number of values, so the median here will be the middle value, which is 4. To find the median of this set, we will first rearrange the terms as usual. Now since this set has an even number of values, there will be two middle numbers. So to find the median here, we need to find the average of these two numbers, which is 5.5. A third way to describe a set of numbers is to use the mode. The mode of a set of numbers is defined as the number that occurs most frequently in the set. For example, in this set, the sixes occur two times and every other number occurs only once. As such, the mode here is six. In this set of numbers, we have a tie for the most frequently occurring number. The threes occur three times and the sevens occur three times. So the mode here is three and seven. Finally, in this set, each number occurs once. So the mode here is one, two, three, and four. Okay, now let's see how these three measurements compare when describing the same set of numbers. To calculate the mean, we'll find the sum of the 10 numbers, then divide by 10 to get an average of 5.9. Next, we'll calculate the median. Since the 10 numbers here are already arranged in ascending order, we'll find the two middlemost numbers, and then find their average to get a median of 5.5. Finally, we will find the mode. Since the fives here occur the most, the mode is five. Now, as you can see, the mean, median, and mode all describe the set of numbers in a similar manner. Now notice what happens when we find the mean, median, and mode of these 12 numbers. The mean is 30.5, the median is six, and the mode is six. So in this case, the mean is quite different from the median and mode. The reason for this is that the 300 here changed the mean calculations significantly. So as you can see, the mean of a set of numbers is greatly influenced by numbers that deviate considerably from the other numbers. Also notice that the 300 here had no effect on the median and the mode. Okay, before we conclude this lesson, I want to introduce a formula that is a direct result of the formula for calculating the average. If we take this formula and multiply both sides of the equation by n, we get a new formula. This formula tells us that the sum of the n numbers in a set will be equal to the mean of those numbers times n. Now this formula is very useful for solving many GRE questions related to average, so be sure to consider using it when you encounter a question involving average. Okay, let's apply this formula to a question. Here we have a set of values where one of the numbers is the variable x. If we are told that the average of the five numbers is six, then what is the value of x? Notice that if we find the sum of all five numbers in the set, then we can determine the value of x. So in this set, we have five numbers, which means n equals five, and we are told that the mean of the numbers is six. When we apply our formula, the sum of the numbers equals 6 times 5, which is 30. 
So if the sum of the five numbers is 30, we can now write the following equation. When we solve this equation for x, we get x equals 10, so the mystery number here is 10. Okay, let's summarize. In this lesson, we learned how to find the average of a set of numbers, we learned the definition of median and how to calculate the median under two conditions, we learned the definition of mode, and finally we learned a formula for finding the sum of numbers in a set. In this lesson, we will examine a useful property involving the mean and median of a set of numbers. The property is as follows. If the numbers in a set are evenly spaced, then the mean and median of that set are equal. Now what does it mean to have numbers that are evenly spaced? Well, these numbers are evenly spaced since each number is 2 greater than the number before it. So if the numbers in a set are arranged in ascending order, the numbers will be evenly spaced if the difference between two adjacent numbers is the same as the difference between any two adjacent numbers. Okay, now let's confirm that the mean and median are equal for this set of evenly spaced numbers. So for this set, the mean is 6, and the median is also 6, so the property appears to hold here. Here's another set of numbers arranged in ascending order. Notice that each number here is 5 greater than the number before it, which means the numbers are evenly spaced. Now the mean of these numbers is 42.5, and the median is also 42.5, so the property still holds. What about a set of numbers that include negative values? Well, once again, we have a set of numbers that are evenly spaced since each number is 7 greater than the number before it. For this set, the mean is 18 and the median is also 18. So it appears that for any set where the numbers are evenly spaced, the mean will always equal the median. Now please note that the converse of this property is not necessarily true. We cannot conclude that if the mean and median of a set are equal, then the numbers in that set must be evenly spaced. All we can say is that if the mean and median of a set are equal, then the numbers in that set may or may not be evenly spaced. The following set of numbers illustrates this. Although the mean of this set is 7, and the median is also 7, we cannot conclude that the numbers in this set are evenly spaced. Okay, let's summarize. In this lesson, we learned that if a set consists of evenly spaced numbers, then the mean and median of that set are equal. And we learned that the converse of this property is not necessarily true.